uh, we now study how to evaluate the real improper integral of the form um, px by qx dx okay so where uh, uh, px and qx are polynomials okay and there are uh, uh, certain other conditions on Px and Qx which I will state later on uh, but how to use Cauchy integral uh, um, Cauchy residue theorem to evaluate these type of improper integrals so let me give an example first so that you can get the idea so for example for example let us evaluate evaluate say minus infinity to infinity 1 by 1 plus x square dx okay so here our px is 1 and qx is 1 plus x square okay so we consider the complex version of px by qx that means so consider we consider fz equal to 1 by 1 plus z square so you, you see that what are the singular points of this function the singular points points of fz this one are given by 1 plus z square equal to 0 okay so that is your z equal to what uh, z square equal to minus 1 that is your z equal to plus minus i okay so therefore therefore what we have seen therefore z equal to i and z equal to minus i are the singular points of fz okay n equal to 1 plus 1 by z square that is our integrand okay so now we consider we consider we consider a semicircular region so this is the real z and this is imaginary z so we consider a positively oriented semicircular region like this this one minus r to r this is zero okay so that we consider r in such a way that your the singular point which is on the upper half is inside this curve okay so this is the, we we consider the positively oriented simple close contour straight line from minus r to r so let me put it as gamma r and again this to this one this i put it as cr which is the semicircle all right so we consider the positively positively oriented simple closed contour gamma r plus cr okay what is gamma r gamma r is the straight line from minus r to r and cr is the semicircle this one okay where where what is your gamma r what is the parametric form of gamma r gamma r is the straight line so uh, i can put it as z of t equal to what is this this is just you can see it is uh, z of t equal to just t and minus r to r so this is just this one or this is same thing as what 1 minus t this is 1 minus t what is the initial point minus r 1 minus t minus r plus t into what is the final point final point is r and if i write in this form then we know that this is in between 0 and 1 okay 0 and 1 so this and this is actually same so this is a straight line so it is just t i can write 
all right then what is your cr cr is nothing but this is the semicircular region so i have what z of say z of theta this is the parameter and what is the radius of this circle it is r e i theta and because it is semicircle so theta lies between 0 and pi so these are the parametric forms of our C, gamma r and cr all right so now where now there is another thing that we should take r in such a way that your singular point which is on the upper half which one which one here here i so i is here so i is here and what is the distance between 0 and i this is 1 this distance is 1 so therefore where your r should be what greater than 1 so r should be greater than 1 so that your i is inside this curve gamma r plus c r all right so we take r is greater than 1 so therefore i can apply cosy residue theorem here because now our fz this function is analytic on gamma r plus c r and everywhere inside this curve except i so therefore by cosy Cosy residue theorem, uh, sorry, residue theorem. We have integral of gamma r plus c r of f z. F z is here one by one plus z square d z, and that is nothing but what twice pi i times sum of the residues at those singular points which are inside. But there is only one singular point. So it is a residue of fz that means 1 plus 1 by z square at z equal to i okay so i'll explain the other things in the next slide